Okay, in this video, we'll take a look at Keegan Bradley's golf swing, playing great at the U.S. Open. And uh, obviously, cool swing. I've watched this swing for a long time. We know he's won a major. Will he win another one? We'll find out today. But let's take a look at this swing. So first of all, obviously, set up very, very different from a lot of players. Hands super low, a lot of angles. And that's good and bad. He's a pretty tall guy, so trying to stay in those angles is really tough to do. And we'll see that with this swing and a lot of swings. If he stays in his posture and he's rotating, good things are happening. Once he's up and out early, that ball is gone left and right. So let's take a look here. This iron shot rolls it inside a little bit early. And up, as he gets to the top, he does a good job of staying in the legs here. And it's trying to shallow. It's trying to get down there. But the hands certainly are you know, pretty far off the plane at this point. And so a pretty good change of angles coming into impact. And that's, you know, change a little bit and you're hitting shots right or left. You're trying to actually draw the ball or fade the ball. It's not as affecting you as much, but if you're trying to replane that golf club, hit shots where you're really trying to control the club face, it can be tougher. And he's even a little bit far from the plane in transition compared to some players. And I'm sure that's what makes it difficult to control that on a week in week out basis to come from such a low position and try to stay in there through the shot. As you can see, the raise up is the hardest part to really control. This angle here also pretty interesting. We can really see how low he gets taking a setup with this driver. I mean, his hands are super low, a lot of, lot of angles in the legs and body. And some of the movements he gets going as he gets up and out, sometimes he shifts a lot in the takeaway, sometimes he shifts himself forward. All those things, all the shifting either back or forward, up, just tough to control. We know he has an interesting pre-shot routine. We've all seen that where all those things are happening. But I hope he has a great Sunday today for final round. And here, still looking low. Absolutely in those legs still at this point. And that's really good. Really well done for, for starting so low, staying in those legs. And then up and out as he's creating that power through the ground. But it's really not advisable. If you're trying to become a consistent player on your own, wouldn't copy this setup. You could copy the leg motions right here. That leg action is great. But once again, when you start super low, the chance of jumping out are much greater. Another great angle here. We can see the strong grip, which I do like. You know, I think that position is really advantageous for for advantageous for a lot of players get that left hand over there we can see two or three knuckles and there's that shifting action this one's shorter obviously just being a shorter iron he's not going to swing back as far like the leg work at that point but it's fun to watch this player when he's really going on these majors because we know there's a lot of action going on, so it's just exciting to see what's going to happen with his swing. I hope his rhythm stays in there, and I hope he stays with some good tempo, and he really stays within himself, lets that tournament come to him on Sunday. We'll take a look at a couple more swings here. A little sand wedge shot. I mean, look how low his hands are. He's almost going to hit his knees on the takeaway. And we can see, trying to raise up out of there, but stays down. But once again, can you really replane a shaft that starts that low? That is tough to do. And if you can't, then that means the club face is subject to coming inside out and twisting at the bottom, or you can hang it open as well. This one here, he's certainly down long enough. Feet are quite quiet. That handle's trying to get left. And the hands certainly look in control here at the finish to control that club face. One last look at a driver swing. And we can just watch to see is there excessive movement or not. A little bit of shift. Winds it up. Doesn't move excessively toward the target. Really staying down in there. Nice, calm, smooth transition move. Legs working around. You see those legs working properly, turning them toward the target, staying in posture. Hands off the plane, obviously, the camera angle's off, but still those hands are higher. But this is quite low for 
for a driver. Rip this one right down the middle. So if we see that today, we'll see a lot of a lot of good shots. Good tempo, smooth transition, not moving around too much. So you can stay down to that point. He's going to be successful. If we see a lot of excessive movement, takeaway, rocking, moving, quick transition, tempo changes, and he's up and out of it, we're going to see a lot of shots in the rough. Then, of course, like all good chippers, he's going to really... PJ Tour has the best chippers in the world, no question. Got the calm feet. Club on plane. Club face perfect. Never excessive movement there. Very natural, normal looking setup compared to the full shot. The chipping looks very natural. Great at it. Good putter. Very successful with these shots around the green. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Keegan Bradley, thank you so much. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Just a reminder, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. That really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you in the next video.